It was so hard to keep my life to remember you sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to Rune Factory 2. This time with some company. This Hello! is my good friend Emily. So I have a reason for having a companion on this adventure and not every one of my Rune Factory games will have a companion. But in this case I felt it appropriate due to the theming of this game and some of the aspects that will come later. Um, Emily, you do streaming and other things like that, right? Yes, even though yeah. it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll <Nicolai> post. <laughs> I'll post her information on screen right here, and yes. uh, just so if you know you're falling in love with Emily, as so many people do. <laughs> that should okay. <laughs> so you're not wrong. <laughs> This is a new game. Let's yes! Go into it. I do not know who I am or where I came from. I only know that I have been wandering, searching for something. But this town? Could this place be what I've been looking for? Wow, this place is nice. And these flowers are so beautiful. Do you mind? <coughs> Sorry, I was drinking. <laughs> oh, hello! Okay, I'm gonna go for that sound. Alright. Oh, um, hello. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you just passing through? Passing through? Um, I think so. You think so? You mean you're not sure? That's one way to put it. Ha 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 ha! That's not so bad. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> wow. How beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> oh, you. <laughs> Oh, you really think so? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> um, that tree, I mean. It's really pretty. Ah, yes, it is. Rude? It's called a cherry <laughs> Sorry. It's called a cherry tree. They bloom with pink blossoms this time of year. That's one of the reasons I love coming here. 
Yeah, I think I could get used to this place. Really? That's great! Watch out, it's an earthquake! Man, I am not going to let you marry him. That's right, guys. We have voice acting in a rune factory. Father? Mary? What are you talking about? You promised me you'd stay my little girl forever. Yeah, when I was six! Why are you even talking about this? Don't you try to hide it. I overheard you talking about love and feelings and that other sort of stuff. Father, we were talking about how much we love the flowers. Oh, you were. Whew, that's a relief. Don't scare me like that, Mana. You're the one who scared us. You earthquake, man? I'm sorry about that. This is my father. I hope he didn't scare you too much. <laughs> it's okay. Well, Mana, who is this fellow anyway? He says he's just passing through town. It's nice to meet you, sir. Just passing through town, eh? Well, you'd better hurry up and get out of town before you get any funny ideas about marrying my daughter. <laughs> that... It's, it's funny because this seems unreasonable until you look at this guy and you're just like, he's probably the guy who literally just tries to marry the first girl he meets. He's right? Dumb. <laughs> as long he's as, a potato. As long as there's breath in my lungs, I won't let anybody marry my little girl. Right, I kind of gathered that. Same. Father, will you be quiet? Mana, it's only out of concern that I... But you're embarrassing me! Listen, I'm really sorry about all this. No, nah, don't worry about it. I don't even know your name. I'm Mana, and this is my father, Douglas. And you are? Did I say I'm... his name right? <laughs> it's Douglas, but... <laughs> Frick! <laughs> I mean, Doug is one of your favorite characters in 4, and yet here I you know. are. <laughs> I'm... Well, I don't really know how to say this, but I'm not sure who I am. What? Really? Why not? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I can't remember who I am or where I'm from. Nothing. But I felt like something is drawing me to this town. Me? Really? Well, <clears throat> I'm glad you ended up here. I guess you don't have any plans to go anywhere else, do you? Um, not really, no. Should I give you also a water can? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Father, do you think we can lend him the farmland? Hmm, well, nobody's using it right now anyway. You're gonna be our slave! Woo! Um, there's some farmland just inside town. Would you like to use it? What? But we only just met and I couldn't possibly impose. Oh, you would be. It's just going to waste right now. Really, well, it'd feel better if someone was living there. And be my I've slave. Been, uh, well, let me think about... There ain't nothing to think about! Man is telling you to use it, boy! You better listen to what my daughter says! Yes, sir. Father! Chill, Sorry. bro. Sorry again about my father, but you really should use the farm and be my slave. Besides, my father and I run the general store. If you're moving town and buy things, you'll be helping us too. Really? Well, if you insist, sure, I'll use the farm. Great! Here, let me show you the way. Oh, but first, we really need some something to call you. The default name is Kyle. We'll be sticking with that. It's a good name. I like that name. At least it's not all caps like Raguna was. It was. Kyle, huh? <laughs> That's a nice name. Thanks. Alright, let's go. The farm is just to the east of here. Just to the east of here. Got it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright. And this game is a little bit different than the first game. They've made some general improvements. First off, you don't start out with your uh, little blue square in front of you. You have to press yep. select to bring that up. You yep. could actually do this in the first game. It doesn't serve as many purposes in that one, though. In addition in to that, you start out running even without holding the right trigger. But if you press the right trigger, you'll actually slow down to a walk. There are uses for it, but they realize that most people just want to be running all the time. That is it true. Uh, besides that, you also have your touchscreen controls in the bottom left corner, where you can just press these buttons to bring up the little wheels that we brought up with the 
L B L A and L X slash Y. There is also they had a setting for people that are left-handed. They have a、mm-hmm. setting for that that they that you could change it so you could use it a little bit easier for people that had left-handed. I had、so、to change it all the time because I'm left-handed. So. Yep. They have these right up here. They're very helpful little things. I figured、yep. I would talk about it, but you beat me to the punch. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited you playing it because this is like legitimately one of my favorite favorite games because、okay. I love how they did it. So, all right, let's head to the east. Yes. This is the worst farmland I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going east. Like, he's going to say it. He's going to say it. <laughs> all right. Now, Mana and Douglas are here. But rather than listening to anything that they have to say, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna just take everything from the farmland. Yep, that's the best way to do it because your time is not going to waste right now. Just get her all of everything and just be done with it.、Mm-hmm. Be smart. Use time smart. Use time wisely. Or else you will. I don't know. I don't know what to say there. Okay, we're、you、actually、clap. gonna cut away real quick. I'm just gonna do a little speed up montage with me picking up every item in here. Because oh, really, you're gonna sound like Squeak Monks if you start talking. I mean, that's if I keep any of this. Oh. So just for you, I literally <laughs> just put in that one thing of you saying that, and then me saying if I keep any of this. You're welcome. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks, Future Gate. It's amazing. Now everything is clear. Yay! It's a very nice little farm. So let's go talk、little. to the man. Oh, hey, house. <laughs> <laughs> Rejected. This, this is a nice little house. I wonder who's gonna get to use this house. Ooh, hey, diary. Let's check it out. It's a diary. It doesn't let us read anything into it. Yeah. Shelving? Nope. No. How about a fridge? Nope. Nothing. This is what、there. I like to buy. Room factory. Too, though, it's like you had a fridge already. You had everything already. It looks so cute.、It's、I love、chest. it. Yeah, just like mine. <sighs> okay. All right. <laughs> There is a little shelf unit down here. What is this? Is this a magic book? Yes, I got fireball. Remember, guys, it took me like a year before I knew there was a fire magic there. <laughs> In game, in game, it took me a year to figure that out. <laughs> That's fair. So we can equip our first magic spell right now. Yeah. We're not using it right now, but I'll show it off. Boo!、Later. Use、right. the fire. So there's not a lot we can do up here. My bed. Why do we have? Why My we have bed. S- My bed. <laughs> a mirror. Why do we have like two beds here? It's a very nice house. It's a, a very nice、isn't? house. That's why I have a double bed and one single bed. Yep, they have two bedrooms. That's a lot better than the old houses.、Uh, and then we have a calendar right here. Yay! It's not filled in with anyone's birthdays or anything, but it has the basic events such as the eating contest, flower festival, and New Year's Day. We don't have friends yet. No,、nope. eventually, eventually. Okay, I figure we've. Prolonged we wait, enough. We We've procrastinated. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's leave. Oh! <laughs> I should go talk to her. If you try to leave any of the other screens as well, it says about the same thing that I should be following her. Beyond I mean, that, this is our shipping bin. Our shipping bin, of course, is not going to say anything interesting right now because we haven't shipped anything. But、yep. this thing is a lot better to use than our old one. Before we had to go into the other menu and everything. Now we can just click on our shipping bin to see. So I'm、yep. gonna be shipping one of each item real quick. Okay, give me just a moment before we continue. I actually need to use the restroom. How dare you? You know what? I'm gonna go do it too. Yeah, that seems to be all of them. Okay. Okay. Now, while we're still not taking up time, let's ship, ship one、it. of each of our items. I ship it. I ship it. And just to show, it does add to the ship list, even though we're not running this farm yet. Hey, hey, sneaky, sneaky! And that's how you beat the game, bros. Yep, 
you just abuse all this time that they give us, or rather, this not time that they give us. Man, I really wanted to say the other thing, but that's not PG-30. <laughs> okay. Uh, and finally, a rock. What do you got there? A rock. Oh my, oh my rock. <laughs> okay. I'm so disappointed. This is my farm. No one's using it right now, so if you're up for it, knock yourself out, kid. I guess that that's the voice I'm going for at the moment. I don't know. Apparently. This will be your farm, Kyle. Wow, this place is huge. It actually has been used in a while, so it needs a little work. <laughs> I think I can handle it. Don't worry. Sounds good. Here, take this hoe and wandering cat. <laughs> Go ahead and try them out. Uh, you mean like right now? I Minute mean, just told you to try them out. What are you waiting for? Be a man. Be yes, a sir. man. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, you look like a natural. Really? Yep. Now try the watering can. Don't drink it. <laughs> oh, that sounds so weird. <sighs> wow, you already water so well. Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were born to do this. There's a natural farmer somewhere in you, kid. Well, I, I don't know about that. We can get you both together for a hundred gold. It's a special sale price. Take it or leave it. What? A hundred for both? That's cheap. Too cheap, kiddo. Yeah, they're they're selling things to us. That was why they were compl complimenting us here. Because they're salesmen. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Never trust a salesman. But I only have no. 150G on me right now. But you still have 50G left over. You'll be fine. A man spends what he earns, buys what he needs. I don't want to, though. How you get a farm without a hoe and water can? Think about it, kid. Y yes, sir. And we're forced to buy. Thank you. Well, good luck, Kyle. Oh, we also sell seeds at our house, so be sure to stop by sometimes, even though you don't have money anymore. Do us proud, kid. You don't work, you don't eat. <laughs> I think I may have been tricked into working here. Okay, <laughs> now you need to give your farm a name. What would you like to call it? So the so, canon name is Misty. We don't want Misty. <laughs> it is a reference to, of course, the first game and how it's named Mist and all that. And I will not be doing that. No. Nope. I thought up for a while what I wanted to name this farm. Tell me. And I decided to go with Ember Farm. It fits the theme of the game, and I figured it was just a nice little name. It's lovely. I love it. It reminds me of the song that I always sing, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ember Farm, huh? Cool. Thanks. All right, looks like you're all set then. Well, you should get to work and start making money, because we took all your money. Um, yeah, I guess you're right. See you later, Kyle. See you later, Mana. Remember to come by our shop if you have any questions. Oh, or if you want to buy something. Uh, okay, will do. Thanks and good luck! Alright. Now we no longer have infinite time, so let's talk. The entire field is yours to use. Yours to use, okay? Have fun, Kyle. I had trouble speaking. <laughs> Just a sec. Blair hopped in my window, and now she's like, "Love me." I mean, it's Blair. Let's have like a future game have like Blair time. Just be careful you don't overwork yourself and drink water like I do. In the upper left corner of the touch screen are you. Don't your... bother reading this. I want to um, read it. <laughs> they have a lot of tongue-in-cheek things, but I'll be skipping all the tutorial stuff. Man, I'll teach he's you how cutting my th he's cutting my allowance to speak apparently. <laughs> <laughs> your screen time. My screen time is gone. You can read this part. Gosh, I was drinking. If you collapse in town, you end up in a clinic. If you stay up working till 5 in the morning, you can get a la la. But fatigue. Fatigued. <laughs> Thank you. I will never be able to say that. Or sick. You can stay up all night like that. 
If you don't get proper amount of sleep, your HP and RP warm up replenish as fast, and you'll be tired in the morning. Be sure to get to bed early. Okay. And, and dream about me, please. <laughs> time to get working, kid. Alright, now we have a farm. So let's do a little bit of work. Biggest difference between Rune Factory 1 and 2. You start out with charged tools. It does not tell you this. I did not know this the first time I played the game. Same. Until the second until the second area of the game, and this this game is also different in that it has two different parts of the game that we'll get into way later. I didn't know that I could charge up my tools. My farming level was really high by that point. Same. I only knew that a little knew this, knew this, what? Noticed it um, accidentally when I was like running around, getting stuff around, and I had to do my farm to get more, and I kept pressing B, and I was like, are you kidding me? Yep. All right, so let's talk to some people. Hello there. My name is Rosalind, the Sunday Cuckoo Cuckoo Cuckoo. The Saint Cuckoo. <laughs> No, no, cuckoo. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Kyle. <laughs> nice to meet you, Kyle. My brother and father might cause you a bit of a headache, but please be nice to them. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't get me wrong. They're good people, but a bit misunderstood. Please try to be patient with them. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Well, I'll see you later, Kyle. I'm trying to have a different voice here, but they all sound the same to me. <laughs> see you later, Rosalind. And... Hey! <laughs> You're so happy. I don't think I see you around here before. Who are you? My name's Kyle. Nice to meet you. Ah, really? I'm Julia. I run the bed in town. Stop by sometimes. When you step into one of my beds, you get 100 times healthier. It's true! Really? Really? So make sure to come to my bed every day! Or Fair else enough. I will steal your money. <laughs> I mean, she'll be doing that no matter what we do. Basically. Alright. So this is a little ocean town. Unlike the first town, which was Cardia, this is Alvarna. It is a much I... different place. This is a seaside port kind of town. Even though I that one had a this beach. this a little bit more because it was easier and was all really close to each other. And you had not much screen and loading screen times all the time. It was amazing. <laughs> What's this bulletin board for? <coughs> Let me tell you! <laughs> Suddenly, mana. Hi, Kyle! Take a little, taking a look around? Yeah. Now that you're selling, I'd better teach you about the bullet. bulletin board. <laughs> yeah, what's it used for? Well, if someone has a problem, needs some help, or they're just learning on board, they can leave a note. Learning on board. <laughs> We all check it from time to time that way. We can help each other out. Wow. Each other out. We can help each other out. Is this a nice custom? Yeah, it is. Be sure to take a look at the board every now and then. You never know if someone's left a note for you. Once you start making friends with everyone time, you'll get loads, lots of notes. If you want to make friends with someone, try to talk to them every day. Try to talk to them every day, guys. Be sure to do that. You can also give them presents. Take a part in the festivals will help too. Good advice. We'll remember that. After you accept one of the requests, you need to talk to the person who made the request. The description of each request says who it is from. If you ever, <coughs> if you, if you are ever having trouble finding someone, you should go get location reading from Alicia. A location reading. Alicia Fortune don't usually come true, but her weather reading and location reading are always right. It's amazing. Alicia is usually down by the docks, so if you ever need to find anyone, go see her. The docks are directly south of here. Thanks. Also, if you decide that you don't want to finish a certain request, go back to the bullet board and select bulletin board and select the same request again to cancel it. Got it. Who knows? You might even be getting a note from me. Yeah? That'd be amazing. I wonder what's on the board right now. It's for me! <laughs> <laughs> a request from Mana. Please deliver an emery flower to Rosalind for me. Come talk to me about it. That's right. Hey, emery flower, that thing that takes a full year to grow? We're just going to be making a delivery of one of those. Yep. We gotta steal it. No, we wish. 
We wish. Okay. There is no sheets for that one. No. Hello, I did not see you just now. Welcome. Hey, kiddo. A real man would buy something nice and expensive right now. Damn, bro. Um, no, I'm not here to buy anything today. What? Huh. Do you think you can just waltz right in here and ask for my daughter's hand in marriage? I won't allow it. Father! I'm sorry about him. Really. No, don't worry about it. Don't let him get to you. You're welcome here anytime. Alright. Now, hey, Mana, what were you talking about? Bolton board? You checked the bulletin board? Great! Okay, I want to request the delivery you can take this emergency flower to Rosalind. Emery, but yeah, sure. Emery. Emery flower Emery. 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 Got it. <laughs> Just change the R, you have my name. She asked for AS ASAP, but I have my hands full here. I pay 100G. Thanks for your help. That's the 100G yep. I stole from you. <laughs> you received an Emery flower. That's a very That's a rare flower. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very rare flower, actually, so don't give it to someone else or throw it away. If you happen to lose it by mistake, go back to the building board and select cancel request. Alright, we'll be getting that in a minute, but for now, I came to talk. Good morning, Douglas. You like things here in Alvarna, kid? No. Before you do anything in buying, blah 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 blah, tutorial, 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 I'll explain this myself. It's easier that way. Yes, sir. Uh, could you explain that? Yes. <laughs> if you dare to press that button. Okay. So, there are spring, summer, fall, and winter specials. They will all have the same basic stuff except for the seeds. Yes. Of course, it is spring, so we'll be looking at this one. And... It's so colorful. Notice, I love it. Sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is worth 15400 You know, if you were trying to sell it, it doesn't Aww. want us. It doesn't like us trying to sell other people's property. It's not about that life. Seeds are very you cannot expensive become a in this team. game. No, we cannot pull a uh, uh, Link's Awakening? Is that right? Yeah, Link's Awakening. Yeah. But so yeah, there are a lot of different kinds of things yeah. here. That is the trouble in this game. It's like, this is expensive. It's really expensive. And we only have 50G. Try to buy something right now. Try it. Yeah. So, let's try to go for a pink turnip seed, aka the cheapest kind of seed. Nope, not happening. We don't have enough money. <laughs> no. And even if you do... If you... If you had to, like... It's really weird because in other, like, in other... For a factory, you always get like seeds to like do the tutorial with to show what you have to do and plant them, and you have them mm -hmm. for free. But this one is like, <laughs> I'm stealing your money. All right, it's the emery flower, a completely gold flower, very hard to grow, making it rare and special site worth fifteen thousand four hundred G at level one. Yeah, very yep. cool. Very much not actually our property. Hey, Rosalind. Nope. I'm so happy you're there. Ah, this is an emery, emery, emery flower. I asked Mana to give me. Thank you for delivering it to me, Kyle. Also, remember to tell that Mana I said thanks, alright? Alright. <coughs> I'm trying to like go for like a soothing deep voice, but it's not coming out right. So I, it will, it will be fine. Thank you for making the delivery. You really helped me out. Here's the payment I promised you. Wow. Yeah, 100G. I gave you money back. You're so kind, Kyle. Like an older brother. Ooh, friend zone. You really think so? Oh no, brother zoned. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we now have 150G. So we can Yay! make money that way. Now, another thing I haven't mentioned yet is that time doesn't... No. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Time doesn't pass if you open up these menus. And because of that, I'm going to be doing that. I'm just going to do this. Time will not pass if you just keep doing this once every second. Pretty neat. But let's head up here. Sorry I'm late, sir. Ooh, I like that voice. 
<laughs> I've been waiting for you. I'm starving. I want to eat a chicken omelet on rice, Orcish style, and make it a large serving. I'll have some elfish style escargot, slightly on the tough side, and I'd like some orange tea before the meal. I'll have whatever is easy for you to make, Cecilia. Rosalind, how did you beat us here? Right? I'll get started right away. Do they usually all order separate things? Rich people are such a pain. Alicia, they'll hear you. That's the point. I don't care if they do. You must be quite the cook to handle all that at once. I've gotten used to it, that's all. Did you need something today, Alicia? I have a door-to-door -door fortune telling service. Rosalind is one of my best customers, and I go where the money is. I forgot it's Rosalind, not Rosalind. Though also Rosalind. some yeah. some of the characters actually mispronounce names, so I kind of take all these with a grain of salt. Okay, so before we talk to any of them, how did you beat us here? <laughs> The Magic! way this works is, for all these intro cutscene things, all these characters will just be here even though they're not supposed to be here. Yep. So, if we were to talk to Max... Hey, I'm Max. Nice to meet you. My name is Kyle. My name's Max. I'm second in charge of this day St. Coquille family. Uh, okay. By the way, what's your name? Uh, I just told you, but... Uh, my name's Kyle. Kyle, huh? Now that's a name I can remember. My name's Max. Don't forget it now. Oh. Okay. Here, I'll tell you again so you don't forget. I'm Max. Max de Saint Coquille. Okay? One more time so you don't forget. Max de Saint Coquille! Yes, yes, I got it. Max. What are you so mad about? I'm not mad at all. Sorry, but I've got to go. Max is clinically Special. insane. <laughs> clinically insane. Special! And then there's Herman. My name's Herman de Saint Coquille. Nice to meet you, sir. My name's Kyle. Ah, so you're the one who's new in town, right? This is a little out of the blue, but do you like cooking, Kyle? Cooking, well, not that much, to be honest. Oh, you're missing out on the best part of life. A good life starts with good food, remember that. Uh, okay, got it. Good. Please start learning more about cooking tomorrow. Also, if you find anything tasty, please let me try it. I'll be waiting. Uh, okay. You yeah. young, I Herman, young. Herman's a good guy. He's just weird, kind of like Max. Hold oh. on. No, sorry. Excuse me. Go. I can talk right now. I'm reading your fortune. Uh, okay. Let's see what it says. Hmm. You're not from this town, are you? Uh, that's right. Really? I did it! I really am an amazing fortune teller after all! Of course I'm not from this town. I've never seen you before. Ah, right now you're thinking, of course I'm not from this town. After all, we never even met before. Uh, what? No, no, I wasn't thinking that. Hmm, don't lie. My readings are always right. And even if they are off a little bit sometimes, who is to say I can't help make them happen? It's <laughs> not exactly fortune telling if you make your fortunes come true. Ah, right now you're thinking it's not really fortune telling if you help make your fortunes come true. What? No, no, of course I wasn't. Hmm, well I think I made my point. What's your name? I'm Kyle. My name is Alicia, and as you have probably surmised, I'm fortune teller. I'm practically good at love reading and fortune telling to the weather. It's nice to meet you! Use me, I'm down at Beer Reading Fortune. If you're interested, stop on by. Okay. And then there's her. She may seem familiar to you if you watched my previous Let's Play. Hi there, I'm Cece. I mean Cecilia. Cece was how I used to pronounce my name when I was little. Guys, Cece's back. And this time, she's a marriage candidate. Hell Not yeah. for the first time. Yeah. You don't know what I'm talking about. Shh. I found out I was going into all the bonus content for uh, Rune Factory and Rune Factory 2, and I found out there were actually multiple uh, different side things, including a manga for Rune Factory 1 and 2, and a, uh, a visual novel for Rune Factory 1. 
Ooh. And that's very cool. It was a Japan exclusive thing that you can no longer play, and that's very unfortunate. But um Yeah, it's it's not great for one good reason. From what I can tell, there were just screenshots of Cece, the little girl, in a wedding dress, hugging on Riguna, and I'm just like is it implying you can get married to the literal Wally? Mm, that's not great. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. I'm Kyle. Nice to meet you. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm working on Mana's farm. Ah, the slave. I mean, you know, you kind of remind me of Raguna. Who's Raguna? Oh, I'm sorry. You see, I used to live in a town called Cardia a, a long time ago, and the guy... And this guy had a lot, blah, 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 a lot like you came to our town. He helped me out when I got lost and other things like that. I have a lot of good memories of him. And this is actually part of the reason that I decided to stick with the canon name. Because it makes these things make a lot more sense. I see. Listen to me. Going, going on about ancient history like that. Anyway, this is a nice place too. I hope you feel at home here. Thanks, me too. Alright, and these are all of these characters. Before we continue meeting characters though, I actually want to head over here. By talking to people, we actually unlock more quests. So we have one from Herman, one from Rosalind, one from Cecilia, one from Natalie, one from Alicia, and one from Douglas. We haven't met Natalie. I was gonna say, you noticed Wait. there was something wrong? Yeah, I was just going through the list and I'm like, one from Natalie- Wait, what? We haven't met Natalie yet, why is she on here? Uh, magic? I guess- yeah. I guess Alicia didn't fortune tell us of that! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what I want to do is request the- well, accept the request for- BREAKFAST! A request from Herman. There's something I absolutely must have for breakfast. Please get it for me. BREAKFAST! If anyone All knows right. that meme, please do tell me in the in the in the, the chat on the, the channel YouTube channel. I this I don't remember the comic section checks. Wow, checks. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm having I'll, a moment. I'll be right back. I need to let Jules out. She's starting to whine. She hears me. And he like, me. like me. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Comment section! Wow, that was the word I was looking for. I did it! I'm so proud of myself. Future Gate, please delete everything I said in this point on. Alright. Hello! I wasn't okay. making sound with the music, I promise. Maybe. Well now, if it isn't Kyle, you saw my request on the bulletin board? Let's get right to it. I'm missing an ingredient essential in any proper day Senko Kiel family breakfast. I want you to bring me rice. Your payment will be 3,000 G. Good luck. I love that rice. <laughs> Let's do this! I know you were trying to run fast, like, gotta go fast, but it didn't really go fast like you wish it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for, just for this first uh, day or so, I'm gonna be abusing this to keep time. Alright. If we come here to Douglas, to any of the specials, because it doesn't matter which, they have rice here. For 270 G. We only have 150, so we'll have to sell some things. Uh, yep. Alright. We're gonna get one rice. My recommendation would be to buy multiple rice if you can afford it. We'll show you in just a minute. Alright. Now, he wants you to just give it to him. We're not quite gonna do that. We're gonna be an abusive person. 
And if you like that, that is fine too, you know? It's, no one is judging for you. No one is judging. Maybe okay. a little bit. We have completely filled our inventory at this point. Now our inventory we is 100% full. There is nothing else we can hold. We're gonna hand over the rice he has asked for. Ah, just as we would expect of you, Kyle. Here's to you never failing, sh falling short of my expectations. Ah, and here's a little something for you. You got 3,000 G. Also, as a little extra thanks, I'm giving you a milker. Oh, Kyle, you don't have any room in your backpack. Try talking to me again after you've cleared up some space. So we got the 3,000 G, but the quest isn't over. What you can do is you can keep giving over and over and over rice to him, and he'll give you 3,000 G per rice. Let's do some math here. They cost 270. You get 3,000 G. That is, what, 2,630 profit per? No, 2,730 profit per. That's a pretty good way to earn money early on. And it is one we will abuse for this series. It's not something I would recommend everyone to do, as honestly, it does take away some of the farming aspects and things, but I want to be able to cover a lot of the stuff here in this first part of the game. That way the second part of the game will mainly just be us adventuring and having a good time and being incredibly huge dorks. <laughs> having so, a good time, having a good time. I... Uh, We'll head home real quick. Just because I haven't shown this yet, so I figure I should show this beforehand. Here in the house, you can save either down here or upstairs. We'll be doing that here. Saving. Do not turn off the power or remove the game card. Saving complete. Now... Yeah. That scared me. Let's continue our game instead. This other save file that I made that is about 40 minutes behind and that's okay to be honest. The biggest difference being... Three hundred and thirty-two thousand seven hundred and eighty-one G. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've also organized things in my inventory in this save file. So this is our shelf, which I did not use. Instead, over here, I just put some of the things over here that I would be needing for the future. Now, Magic. besides that. I've also tilled up all the soil, because, yeah, of course I did. <laughs> yep. And we have the money to buy most Seats. items that we need in the game. So we're going to do that now, before we do anything Welcome else. Friend. Oh, he's calling us friend already? Oh. He's only saying that because he wants our money. Yeah. All right, let's buy one of each of the spring. Boom. And while we're at it, we're just going to buy a... F Actually, we're going to buy a full stack of the strawberry. Just because they are really good money. So if you want to be like Gabe and be able to buy all of that... Use that little, little glitchy glitchy that we did. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, but if you want to go, like go with the flow together with us, I recommend you to do so. Yeah. And what you should be doing with that is you should be abusing the time glitch that I already showed off to make so time doesn't pass as you're running back and forth, getting money from rice, then buying as much rice as possible. And every time you come back for rice, I would recommend saving, just so you don't accidentally mess up what you're doing, and then lose out on the ability to do the glitch any further. Wait, did you buy the pink turrets? No. No, you did not. I hadn't done it yet. I was making sure. 
Yep. So, for anything else, oh. <laughs> I love how you always do that. <laughs> Sometimes my left trigger doesn't work as well as it should, and that's kind of concerning for my 3DS. It will okay. be bad. I want to talk to you. Hey, who are you? Oh, this is I, you, right? Heck, ex, ex, yeah, sorry. Is this you? Sorry. You? It's no, it's me. You? <laughs> <laughs> oh, our show is a gem. Oh, I like that. Hey, who are you? I haven't seen you around here. Oh, I'm Kyle. I'm a traveling merchant. And there you have it. items at reasonable prices. So come by anytime you want. Reasonable prices. Okay. I'm lying, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> All right, I'll have to take a look sometime. I know the prices seem too low, but I promise I'm not losing any money on it. Just pretend you have you have tricked me, triggered me, and buy everything you want. Uh, okay. Yue is secret. a traveling salesman who will be here just about every day of the week, and she is a also a marriage candidate. So yep. we have met thus far for marriage candidates. We've met Cecilia. Alicia. Alicia! We've met Mana. We've met Rosalind. Julia. Yue. You see where this is going? There are a lot of them. <laughs> but we didn't see the cutie patootie yet! I'm so excited to All right. meet her again! Now, rice. There you go. Ah, just as expected of you, Kyle. Here's to you never falling short of my expectations, and here's a little something for you. Oh, well, so as a special extra thanks, I'm giving you a milker. Oh, okay, here's the milker. You got the milker. Let me just give you a teensy bit of explanation about your new milker. If you equip the milker, you can use it to collect milk from buffa moves that you have caught and made friends with. To use it, press the... If you follow these instructions, the milker will be equipped in your right hand. Once you've equipped it, approach your buffa move, and then you'll be able to collect milk from them. What do you think? Convenient, right? Use it a lot to produce real top quality milk. It is actually an incredibly helpful item for what we need it for. Also, if you're wondering how many times you had to see that text popping up all the time, here, I'm gonna give you a milk. Oh, wait, you don't have space. You don't wanna know. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so I had 300,000, over 300,000 gold when we did this, which means I did it over 100 times, probably somewhere around 120 times yeah. or so. So if you wanna go out with together with us like this, enjoy having that text happening. <laughs> Yep. Over the hundred times. <laughs> it does take a little while, but it sets you up really nicely to just mm -hmm. have fun with it. Yep. Um, my major issue with some of the Rune Factory games is that you never seem to have enough time to grow some of the, in the phantom crops, such as the emery flower. It takes a full year to grow, and you can beat a lot of these games within the first year. So, that is true. Yeah. All right. Now, before we do anything... No! I have more questing to do. I want to see my baby. No. Nope. Uh, no babies. Oh, boy. Disappointment. Please find something for me. Yeah, my my dignity. What dignity? <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. And we're going to buy something from Yue. Yue is a really special person. She's a Here in this first part plate. of the game, she will sell birthday items. Everyone's favorite gift for their birthday. Mm -hmm. Going from the fried rice to the roasted yams, pizza. Seafood pizza, all these things. There's just a huge amount of stuff we can work with here. And if you oh. notice those prices, it's excessively but expensive. Did you remember that she said reasonable prices? Yes. Well, she was lying to her teeth. Yeah, she... Like all the salesmen in this game, sell things for at least twice the price they're actually worth. So yep. today we're going to be buying some fried rice. Expensive, I know, but we need it because it is actually someone's birthday. We'll be handling that in a bit. Yep. I don't remember who, but I remember there was a birthday happening. And I never could give it a present because I didn't know about the glitchy glitchy little bitty. You took a look at the bulletin board, didn't you, hey. Kyle? No, it's right, yours. Eh, whatever. Yes. So you know I like you to go get a ruby from the tree forest. I guess falls for me. I guess. However, I don't want you to kill any monsters. Do you get it? Okay? I can't kill any monsters? No, that's right. 
<laughs> okay, I'll see how it goes. Best of luck to you. All right. So Cecilia, Cecilia believes in the power of the earth. Raguna has opened her eyes and believes that you, there are better ways to do it than just going around slaughtering. As a reminder, with Raguna, we did nothing but slaughter constantly. So really, I don't know where she got this idea from. <laughs> Same. Mind you, we did take care of a lot of monsters. That's true. But like. We absolutely went on mass genocide of monsters. If anyone oh. even saw me grinding up some of the items, it took me so long. I've killed hundreds, if not can, thousands. Can we talk about, really quickly, about how this game looks? It's really beautiful. For a 3D, for a DS game, not a 3DS game, a 3 mm -hmm. DS game. This game is really, really beautiful and it makes me happy just walking around here. This one is one of my favorite towns more because it was easier to get to everything you wanted and in the first one it was a little bit difficult because you had to like go up then there or you had to go a little bit more up. It was really difficult and sometimes I forget where everything was and this one is all in the same row so it's a little bit easier. All the shops and houses are actually in that one line except for ours because we're special. We are special snowflakes, after all. And if we come up north here... Hey, hey Kyle! I see... <laughs> you have found the crossroads! Yeah, I'm still learning my way around. Well, this is the way out of town. If you go right, you find the interesting trees forest. Machina Village is to the left, and the Padova, Ma Padova Mountains are straight ahead. Unlike me, I'm not straight. Also, you can get to it from here if you go... Wait, you can get to it from here if you go to the port in the side of town. You can get to Blessia Island. Really? Great. Those sound like neat places. No, there are monsters in all of those places. It's not safe like it, it is in... in oh, wow. Inside of town, yep. To put it bluntly, you won't be able to handle them with just your bare hands. You should go buy a weapon first. Okay, thanks for the advice, Mana. And we can I do that. I or we stutter cannot. a lot. I stutter so much. Help me. Help I mean, me. Your, n English isn't your native language. So I this speak is the it for 10 gun. years. I should be normal with it. Um, I believe it's up here. Yeah, it's If I'm remembering up. correctly, it is up this way. And there are going to be a lot of enemies up here that I'm not covering right now. Right here. Look at the cutie. This Ooh. ruby right Ooh. here is what we're here for. Ooh. So, nice uh, back to Cecilia. Piccolo will be proud of you. <laughs> Dodge! Dodge! Hey, Cecilia. Take the ruby. Looks like you found the ruby. I did. And you did it without hurting a single monster. I knew I was right about you, Kyle. So, if you decide to hurt a monster instead, this pops up on screen. What do you mean? He seems like the type of person who is meant to tame the land and the monsters. Those sort of people are called Urmates. I think that you must have some of the qualities of an Urmate. Really? I don't really know much about that sort of stuff, but... Well, I'm sure you got the talent for it. Here, take this pack cloak. It's a present from me. You can use it to become a even better friends with monsters! Yep. What is this? It's a cloak that will let you tame monsters. I already said that. <laughs> if you keep it, you can pet the monster to show affection for it. If you show it enough love, it becomes, it becomes your friend. That's amazing. Do bet that doesn't work with real people. Well, you probably come under some pretty heavy fire while you're petting it, but... Yeah, listen, if you start randomly touching people inappropriately, like, you're just gonna get the like, cops called on you, that's it. I'm gonna <laughs> wearing pet clothes! <laughs> but if you show it love, everything will be fine in the end. Oh, but no matter how much love you show it, it won't befriend you unless you have a barn. A barn? It's the type, it's the place where you keep the monsters that you tame. You need Mayor Byron. 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 Permission in order to build one, though. Try talking to him when he's in his office at his house. Got it. you also be needing wood if you plan on building a barn. Let me give you a head start on collecting it. You got 100 pieces of wood. Thank you. 
Okay, good luck! Okay, so I'm sure you've noticed by this point that every time we fi uh, finish a request, I put it on screen. I just put exactly what the requirements are, who the request was from, what the reward was, and also the little quote that we get at the beginning of it. Yeah. It's how I plan on handling it. Now... Yeah. Go and fetch me the fighting bull's horn. Get this for me. Yeah. We're going to be doing as many of these as we can Oops. today. Okay. Now, Douglas. It may be that you have a request for me, but before that request, here's some fried rice. Happy birthday! Thanks! How do you know today is my birthday at fried rice? This is great! Oh, I'm so happy! So, happy Douglas birthday. is now already at one with us. Except he's not really at one. The way they handle it is you have to do certain quests to get their friendship up higher. So once we finish the next request, it will actually give us another boost that will push, and push us up to two. I think that should push us around to three, I think. Which is actually high enough to do all of his quests for now. We'll have more quests from him later, but that's neat. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy... Or Rune Factory 2. Okay, that's weird. That's weird <laughs> to say. Rune Factory 2, a fantasy Harvest Moon. We're going to be helping out Douglas. We're going to be going further in our day. Next time we should be done with the first day of the game. I know this took a while, but that's really how it needs to go for this. <laughs> yep. So, guys, I hope you all have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.